notch intrusion panels. Mm -hmm. And as a major manufacturer of intrusion products, uh, very reliable products, by the way, sure. uh, there are occasions when we need to change, swap, replace a panel um, to a different version. Mm -hmm. um, this could be confusing at times. We do have a little bit of a roadmap right behind us, sure. um, which basically says there's lots of different directions to go um, when changing or replacing a panel. Obviously, you don't want to take an off-ramp to nowhere, hmm. but let's say we have a project uh, depicted here. We have a chart, which is a path, mm -hmm. um, which kind of goes into uh, what the replacement or the swap should be. Um, after reviewing that, uh, you can send an email um, to MidChess um, to arrive at the correct panel to be swapped and the new part number. Mm -hmm. So we have a straight line road here, which gives us a direct path on how to get to uh, a new panel. Sure. However, it can be confusing at times, thus all the off-ramps going the wrong way. Sure. But if we stay on this path, uh, we should be successful. But let's get into a little bit more detail mm -hmm. about how these panels can be replaced, swapped, or changed. For instance, let's say we're changing or swapping a system. Mm -hmm. Can the keypads remain the same? So it depends on the age of the panel. If the panel is, you know, relatively recent if uh, any panel that was introduced after say 2003 so you can keep your existing keypads you don't have to teach your customers how to use a brand new keypad you can keep your existing expansion modules you just have to swap the actual panel itself so you keep your uh, peripherals swap the head end and program and you're good to go so let's summarize that for a second. Mm -hmm. Prior to 2003, mm -hmm. probably should replace the panel, the keypads, and most oh. of the integral parts Whole system. to come up with a brand new system. Mm -hmm. After 2003, with a guide and some consultation maybe, yes. um, just replace some of the components. Just replace the, some of the components. Just replace the actual head end, the actual panel itself. Right. Keep your peripherals. Uh, just add a couple of uh, expansion modules maybe and that's all you got to do. How about wiring, right? All mm -hmm. these things get connected with wires. Can we keep the same wires? Do we have to change them? Yeah, you keep the same wires. If the wiring is good, there's no reason to replace it. So all of our new panels still use the same uh, wiring conventions as all the old panels. So a four wire unshielded bus, uh, you have uh, field wiring, either addressable field wiring or conventional field wiring. Still uses all the same wiring. The uh, even the transformer wiring is the same, so you don't have to replace the wires as long as the wires are are still good. Okay, that's a time saver. Mm -hmm. Now, back in the day, mm -hmm. original intrusion panels uh, communicated over a POTS line, mm -hmm. plain old telephone service, right? Sure. Obviously, with newer panels and Ethernet and mm -hmm. um, uh, wireless, uh, there's all kinds of communicate. What kind of communication paths are available with the newer panels? So the communication path is actually the thing that you have to think about the most when you're going to be doing uh, a panel swap, when you're going to be changing an old panel for a new panel. All of our old panels used POTS as the main communicator, and then you could upgrade to... Uh, IP monitoring or to cellular monitoring. All the new panels are designed around IP monitoring and then they have uh, communication slots. So you can fill them with a cellular radio, you can fill them with a telephone adapter. So if you want to continue to monitor the panel with POTS, you, ha you would get a B430 telephone adapter. That said, I myself have been encouraging people to go off of POTS and onto IP or cellular or both because of how many uh, stories we're hearing from the field of unreliable POTS communication. You get more comp failures nowadays now that the telcos are switching over from copper to fiber. 
So if I'm hearing you correctly, are there is there a possibility to have two paths of communication? Yes, so you can do uh, up to three paths of communication natively. You have the IP on board, that the IP comes with the panel now. You have two slots for communication modules. You can add um, telephone, you can add two telephone, you can add telephone and uh, cellular, you have two uh, cell, uh, cellular, and you can even add on additional IP and add on additional harnesses for cellular. So you can have up to six pathways of communication on the largest panels. That's awesome. Is when we're trying to change a panel mm -hmm. or swap a panel, are there any specific Bosch modules that we need to accomplish this change out? So you would want to use the B600 upgrade module if you're going to be upgrading from a relatively new panel. So any of the panels that have um, modules that are still going to be compatible with the newest uh, with the newest panels, like I said, any of the panels that are made after 2003 will be uh, compatible with the B600. So the keypads are going to be natively compatible. You just wire the keypad directly into the panel itself. And the modules will wire into the B600 up upgrade module. And the B600 upgrade module will wire into the new panel. So that will allow the new panel to talk to the old modules and the old modules to talk to the new panel. Got it. Is there... Is there any type of, I know we have this displayed here, but mm -hmm. do we have a chart or a guide of panels and maybe discontinued dates, mm -hmm. uh, like, a, like a chart or a guide that we could provide to our dealers? Sure. So uh, below you'll see the link for the chart, download the chart, have that printed out, uh, keep that close by. Uh, it'll give you all the models that are, um, that are still upgradable, all the models that can be swapped. Uh, without having to replace the modules and it'll show which panels need to be uh, replaced with new modules as well. It'll show um, uh, end of life dates. It'll show what date uh, support ended for the oldest panels so that you can actually show your customer what the, you know, when, when the support date ended and it'll give you all the information you need. Ari. As our intrusion expert at MidChess, I can't thank you enough for all the information. Um, for our dealers, distributors, end users, mm -hmm. um, if you need any further information, please don't hesitate to email us at support at midchess.com. Thanks, Ari. Thanks, Rick.